Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Memes of the Week. The best thing you can do for this channel is beat that like button like it owes you money before watching this, so it reaches a wider audience. Also, before I get on with the memes, first a word from today's sponsor, the MGTOW Book Collection Part 2. Whether you're getting camel toe in Cambodia, banging babes and burkas in Turkey, or taking Polaroids of ladyboys in Thailand, Luca Vendetti has a series of books to make you live the dream. His new three-booklet series includes how to live on $500 a month in Cambodia, Turkey, and Vietnam, in addition to his classic, How to Retire on 200 k in Southeast Asia. He also has the MGTOW book. Visit MGTOWbooks.com and use the promo code SANDMAN to get 10% off. Now available in four formats, PDF, Mobi for Kindle, EPUB, and text-to-speech MP3. Sponsor link is down below. And now on with the memes. Number one, meet Professor Christina Sundquist. She's being charged for leaking a paper saying that the majority of rapes are done by migrants. 59.2% in her country. So this is where we're at now. We're telling the truth about illegal migrants get you thrown into prison. Trust the science. Just not this science. It's stuff like this that's eventually going to lead to a civil war in Europe. The locals will get sick and tired of this and stand up to the tyrants that rule over them. Mark my words. Moving on, here's another inconvenient truth. In Canada, Indian truck drivers are ending hundreds of Canadians each year. Collisions are up by 800% from 2017. They're poorly trained getting their licenses through corrupt Indian-owned tractor-trailer driving schools. I have nothing against qualified Indian truck drivers. The government needs to test them independently, however. But the government is probably happy about this because they're doing to Canadians what the healthcare system is supposed to do to them instead. And the Canadians. Number three, meanwhile in LA, STDs are skyrocketing in women, and officials think that racism and misogyny may be to blame. Really? And not slutty behavior, perhaps? Besides, it's the chads banging all the women spreading the STDs, and they won't be called misogynists. Instead, it'll be the men that aren't even getting laid being blamed for this somehow. Mark my words yet again. I think that this is just some sort of divine punishment for hoflation. I think this crypt keeper here forgot to mention the misogyny is also responsible for global warming even as women do 80% of the consumption. Up next, what do you guys notice about white dudes for Harris? Looks like they like femboys that can pitch a tent in their panties with their morning wood. I like my women old-fashioned without a weenie. If there was a group called White Men for Trump, though, it'd be called racist. Number five, the dark woman on the right says that she would rather die than be white, but she's going to die from diabetes if she doesn't try going on a diet. That's not shame in my voice, lady, but genuine concern for you and your diabetes feet. If black women didn't want to be white, then why do so many of them use makeup to lighten their faces and wear blonde wigs and are jealous of white women's hair? Moving on, there you are trying to save the earth, drinking from your soggy paper straw. And you're trying to save the planet, and Taylor Swift flies by in an airplane full of cats, dumping the kitty litter as she flies by you. But if Swift has a B-36, I'll have to revise my opinion of her. She might be based after all. In case anyone is wondering, paper straws suck because they have a paper flavor to them. I want to stop hearing about climate change from anyone who's ever flown in a private jet or used a private yacht before. Number seven, I want to share exhibit A as to how poor people stay poor. This woman quits her job after winning only 90000 in a lottery scratch ticket. You know, it's all going to Botox fillers and the chesticle job then she's going to go back to being a brokey with big jugs. If she doesn't spend it quick, she'll get robbed in the ghetto. How many lottery winners does it take to finally prove that money doesn't make the millionaire? Up next looks like Hollywood finally made a good decision and decided to no longer reboot Battlestar Galactica. The plan was to originally have a non-binary Starbuck. It would have been a woke disaster. All the main characters would have been female and the Cylons would be vibrators that somehow became sentient and try to end their female users. Battlestar Galactica could move forward with the second fleet of humans that survive someplace else. Number 9 is a Christian lonely fan star, and she says that she makes spicy content because it's God's message. Sounds to me like she's a porn-again Christian. The bait used to be believable, but these days the church simps have gotten so bad that they'll sit silently in the cock chair waiting for their Christian wives to get T-boned by Tyrone. Money is her motivator, and she's hoping that Christian guys send her their cash. Moving on is the bare minimum high you'll need as a man to get laid in 2050. His junk would probably break these women in half. Either that or spit roast them. 
Robert Wadlow was the world's tallest man. And just look at the way those women are looking at him. But women might as well start looking for giant Nephilim boyfriends at this point. Number 11, be careful guys, because there are more women than ever out there putting on sundresses and telling you that they don't trust the government and they're trying to trap you. It's all about playing the part of the traditionalist female chameleon. You know that one day feminist women are going to do this too, like this one. But somehow I don't think that she has the same appeal. Up next, there's nothing more ironic than someone advocating for black men saying that they aren't dangerous. And she was permanently disabled by the very same black gangster she argued didn't exist. Sasha was also saying that the white man would be her slave and not equal. Well, I guess it's a good thing that the white man invented the technology she now uses to move around and do her daily business from her wheelchair. Remember that sub-Saharan Africans didn't even invent the wheel. Number 13, why is it that these days that average couples are increasingly looking like this. Average couple. Looks more like the average land whale and simp. But I know exactly what this chubby chaser is doing. He's waiting for her to die from heart disease so he can inherit her house. <laughs> but this dude is ruining the reputation of Jim Bros everywhere because he's with a woman that looks like she works out by lifting eclairs into her mouth at a pastry shop. Moving on, here's an actual picture of Aaron Clary growing up in the 80s, before all the cooches took over. As for me as a child, I drank Carlsberg and Molson Canadian. Who needs a smoother when you got a cold can of Bud? Back then when you touched a hot stove, your dad was like the guy on the right in option B, laughing at you all the way to the doctor's office. Meanwhile, today's helicopter parents are in more pain than the children that actually hurt themselves. Number 15, you may be old, but are you this old? I certainly am, but does that tower have turbo mode? I got my first PC in 1990, but before that, I could use Commodore 64s in school. This is how old I really am, and I still have it in a package that I picked up at a yard sale many decades ago. Up next, here's the evolution of female empowerment over the last hundred years. First, they started competing with men to make money. Now they're using their sexuality to take men's money. Why compete with men, even in the age of DEI, when you can just get thousands of men to send you 20 bucks each every month just for taking off your clothes on camera? It's easier and you can scale it up and make way more money, so it makes sense why it's happening. Number 17, here's an actual picture from the recent Paris Olympics, where a female that used to be a male beat up a female that was always a female. Looks like what the Ozempic Olympics are really about these days is violence against women. It's also going to provide us many memes for many years to come. Here is the individual in question. We have made physical assault against women not only celebrated at this situation, but you can now win gold medals for beating up women. Moving on is the main reason I hate being in relationships. Most women have this insatiable urge to be little men by finding mistakes in everything we men say. It's almost like they created an anniversary so that we would intentionally forget them so that they could correct and belittle us. One woman lost her mind when I programmed all of those anniversaries into my phone, and I would get a heads up before they happened. Women know everything, and this guy doesn't even need Google because his wife knows everything. She's the one causing the pain in his eyes, too. Number 19, ladies and gentlemen, may I present to you the American social justice system. An illegal migrant who shot a Texas cop was set to be deported by the judge, but the judge gave him a second chance to stay in America, in Texas of all places. Just imagine how bad it must be in the blue states. The American injustice system is looking more and more like the Ministry of Truth from 1984. This has to be a George Soros judge for sure. Up next, the Joker says that in their last moments, people show you who they really are. John Jonah Jameson is an honorable man when it comes to protecting his sources as a newspaper editor. As the Green Goblin asks him, who takes pictures of Spider-Man? He could have sent Peter Parker, but he figured then he wouldn't get any more pictures of Spider-Man. And then that would mean he'd be selling a lot less papers. So was he really protecting his source or his bottom line? You be the judge. Number 21, what exactly do we call this body shape? Is it a flounder or a blowfish? Maybe Humpty Dumpty. When people say they like women that are pear-shaped, I don't think that this is what they meant. Could this also be the shape of some exotic Christmas tree ornament, perhaps? As for me, it kind of reminds me of the King Hippo from Mike Tyson's Punch-Outs. Moving on, just look at the new DEI women of Batman cartoon. You have, have Harley Quinn on the far left, and she looks like a fat Asian, and next to her is Renee Montoya. And she looks like she put on a few pounds and is in men's clothing. Finally, on the far right is Barbara Gordon, her Batgirl. 
He asked the new Batman where women sit around and talk about their feelings. They look like the same character in different shades. This also looks like a modern day teacher's lounge. Welcome to Jar Jar Abrams new woke man show. Number 23, that dude's spinal cord must be in serious danger of severing, putting that much weight on his shoulders. If you want to know if this is real, look closely at the real picture on the left with the girl with the shock look on her face. I don't think that there have ever been more stronger dudes and fat chicks together at any time in history before, rather than right now. Looks like the blunt fellow has also been cut off to his brain in that particular meme. Up next, here's the look on the faces of nurses everywhere when people can't believe that cop lady slept with five co-workers. It's no surprise as healthcare practitioners have the highest rates of infidelity, right under pilots and cabin crew. But you know the nurses are in the right profession because they know how to take care of themselves when they're old and alone with cats. Number 25 and the last one, Mike Tyson says he's willing to box the Olympic gold medalist with all the proceeds going to battered women's charities. This may not be true, but I had to share it because I'd love to see something like this happen. But to be fair though, we'd have to put a blonde wig on Tyson and change his name to Michelle Tyson. This isn't the Rocky remake we want. It's the Rocky remake we need. So that's it for another Memes of the Week. Please give this video a like to push it up in the algorithm and so new viewers can find it. If you enjoyed this series and want me to keep making it, then donate it to PayPal and subscribe to links below. Anyways, enjoy the rest of your day and cheers.